Hello, uh, my name is Steve Sharman. I'm the Guernsey Football Association's Head of Youth Development. Uh, within football and within many sports, uh, we have a slight issue with our young players being affected by information being given to them from the side of a, a pitch. That information either comes from coaches or it comes from the parents. And often it takes away the decision-making process for the actual player themselves. It can also be very contradictory and uh, it, it, can, it can confuse those that are playing. It's very, very important that we allow our young players to make mistakes, to learn by trial and error, and to basically enjoy playing. The game is theirs after all, and not us as adults. I'm going to show you uh, an exercise that I do to try and uh, point this out to adults about how over-communication can affect young players when they actually play the game of football. Ready. Hello India, how are you? Hi, I'm good, thank you. Do you like doing uh, jigsaws? Love doing jigsaws. Well, here we go. This is uh, a children's jigsaw. What I want you to do is I want you to complete it. Okay. okay. So you complete it. I'm going to say, ready, steady, go. You start, complete the jigsaw, and I'm going to help you. Ready, okay. steady, go. Come on India, this is against the time now. This is all about winning. You've had two colleagues in here before and they've been really, really good. So you don't want to become last. You don't want to come third. You don't want to lose to Rachel. You don't want to lose to her. Come on, she was really, really good. Now we've done this lots and lots of times. India, look here. India, that can't be the right way of doing things. You're putting that surely in the wrong way. That's upside down. That's not right. That, that bit's upside down. That is, ter I can't, I'm going to have to go out the room in a minute. This is terrible. We've done this over and over again. This is a six-year-old's jigsaw who would do this much, much quicker than you. Come on, this is about time, timing. Where's that piece go? Don't put that piece down. That piece, where's that piece go? That piece has got to go, that's in the wrong place. Surely, that's upside down. What about this piece here and this piece first? Put this piece in, this piece, this piece. What about that, that piece? Okay, where are you gonna put this piece? This piece, this piece has got to go. Oh, go on then, you finish it. Oh, well, I don't know. I'm not sure about that at all. Okay, well done. So, um, did you enjoy doing that? No. <laughs> was that horrible? Yes. And what was the reason why? You like doing jigsaws though? Too much pressure. Too much pressure. Takes away the enjoyment. Takes away the enjoyment. And the pressure came from? You. Okay. And was there anything in particular that you didn't like about what I was doing? You were touching all the pieces, getting yeah. involved. Yeah. Had it under control. You had it under control. Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to do it again and I'm going to help you a second time. So, but this time, let's say, well, it's not against the clock. You just start when you're ready. You do it in your own time. You can make mistakes. It really isn't a problem. Off you, you know, whenever you're ready. I'm even going to put a little picture there. So if you're yeah. struggling, there's a picture in the corner there. It's helpful. Of Bob. Yeah, absolutely. I'm trying to help, be helpful. So remember, you can't make a mistake. Um, this is not about beating anybody else. Already, I like the way you've made that side. So you've put two corners in place already. So that's a, that's a really, really good idea. There's no time scale, so you can take as much time as you want. Well done. Well done. Those three fit together. The way you've done the outline is, is superb. And one piece, fantastic. Okay. There. So it wasn't about time. The success is actually just completing the puzzle. Yeah. Did you enjoy doing it the second time? I did enjoy that, yeah. Was there any difference? Did I help you the second time? Yeah. I yeah. did? Yeah. Was there anything about my body language that was maybe different? We were quite relaxed. There was no pressure. No. It was just all about having fun. All about having fun. Yeah. Did the picture help a little bit or did you not need it? Well, I didn't really need the picture. It was there. <laughs> it was there if you needed it. In case, yeah. It was okay. useful to know. Fantastic. Thank you, India. No worries. So, you've now seen the exercise in action. And hopefully you've seen that by positive reinforcement, by putting comments into context, and by being relaxed, the player, the person taking part, has far more enjoyment, and also a lot of the learning is taken on board by themselves. It's really, really important that we let the players play, that we give encouragement, but it's put into context. When you're on the side of a pitch and you're watching children, your, your children or your grandchildren play, or you're coaching, can you take that into account? 
And can you keep that at the forefront of your mind? Let the children play. It's their game after all.